Thank you, George. That's also a very good question. Um, so vertical farming is an interesting approach, is an interesting proposal. Uh, from the slow food point of view, if we really want to solve the problem of the urban-rural divide of the access to food in uh, urban areas, uh, we first of all need to strengthen really the connection between the urban and the rural areas. So uh, also if we look, for instance, here we're in Brussels, there is what's called the green belt around the town with many producers around town, uh, strengthening the connection between those producers and and uh, urban dwellers is one big challenge and one key things to do. Um, vertical gardens, uh, yeah, again, they can be interesting. One of the challenges though with vertical gardens is that you basically take soil out of the equation. Uh, and then without soil, which is basically the foundation of life with all this biodiversity that is also in the soil, you kind of alter also the quality of the food in terms of the nutrients and so on. So that's also something to be taken, taken into account. As low food, we'd rather invest all our efforts and, um, and energies into really strengthening the connection between the rural and urban communities. And then again, urban gardens, there are also urban gardens in parks, there are composting bins in parks, uh, there are many other initiatives at town level that are really admirable or beehives on roofs. Uh, so this is not to say that farming cannot happen in the city, but vertical gardens might be not the first best option in terms of farming in the city.